stop. <laughs> Jamie, have you no sense? Look what you've done to your auntie's skirt. It's all right, I don't mind. Well, I mind, Mrs. Crook. I'll take him back to the house for a bit of bread and honey. Be nice to get some chores done without a bear under my feet. Some days I can scarce go to the privy alone. <laughs> but soon you'll have a wee brother to play with. <laughs> How do you know it's not a sister? Well, I've had no morning sickness and a taste for salty food, and I'm carrying low. Same as we, Jamie. It's a boy, all right. You have siblings? No, I'm an only child. Well. It's good for a man to have a brother. Jamie was only eight when we lost Willie to smallpox. He said Ian's been like a brother to him. Aye, he is. Two of them were like one after Willie died, especially in a fight. <laughs> Old John, Ian's father, used to tell Ian his job was to guard his chief's weaker side. And he did. When Jamie and Ian stood shoulder to shoulder, there was no one could take the pair of them down. Jenny, what's wrong? My waters are broken. Looks like this laddie's on his way. All right, let's get you inside. Jenny, it feels to me that this baby is breech. Well, he's in the wrong position. The head should be down here, but it, it's still up here. Oh, he's a foot like me. Yes, I suppose. Look, we're going to have to turn him. I'm going to need you to lie on your side, and then I'll have to palpate the belly. You know about babies and such, then? I've seen childbirth. <sighs> You've not yet been with child yourself, then? No, I haven't. Granny McNabb says you should drink a tea of raspberry leaves and rose hips when the moon is waxing. That and a bit of ladies' mantle where raw egg beaten up in it. Working, is it? No, it isn't. He's determined to land on his feet. He's a stubborn one. Definitely has Fraser in him. I should go get Ian. You should know what's going on. I'll not tell him anything, and neither will you. No point in worrying the man. Tell him the Baron's coming and nothing else. <laughs> 